In order to maintain optimal thermal body temperature, some animals go through a mechanism known as countercurrent heat exchange. This mechanism allows for the animal to save energy by using parallel pipes, which are the arteries and the veins, that allow blood to flow in opposite directions to and from the appendages. Here the arteries are displayed in red and they are typically found deep within the appendage, while the veins, displayed in blue, are superficial. They connect in the middle by capillaries. For the purpose of display, the pipes seen in the outer part of the model exemplify regular blood flow which does not conserve heat. Rather, heat would be lost to the environment, thus steadily declining blood temperature. This process is held when the organism is at optimal warm body temperature. The pipes seen in the inner part of the model display the mechanism of countercurrent heat exchange. This mechanism is used when an organism is in a cold environment. Heat is transferred from the arterial blood to the venous blood, which then carries the heat back to the body core, promoting heat conservation. When blood flows towards the body surface, it loses heat to the surrounding tissues, thus minimizing the temperature gradient and preventing heat loss to the environment. The blood vessels returning from the body surface have a low temperature and are very close to each other, so that when the warm blood loses heat, the returning cold blood picks up the heat and increase, increases in temperature. This exchange of heat is efficient since the warm blood is always, will always be slightly warmer than the cold blood, thus heat will travel down its gradient. This mechanism prevents the loss of a large amount of heat by causing the transfer of heat from warm blood to cold blood to re-enter the body core. This prevents extremely cold blood in extremely cold environments to lower the body temperature.